So we are going to sketch a graph of this equation right here. And um, it's going to have some asymptotes, maybe some x and y intercepts. We're going to find them all. Sketch the graph. We'll frame it up that way. So um, let's start finding some asymptotes. And the first asymptote I'm going to look for is I know that I can't divide by 0. So um, that means that this value right here in the denominator can't end up being 0. So 2x plus 5. Um, when that's zero, this function is, is undefined. We can't, uh, can't define it. So, subtract five from both sides. 2x equals negative five divided by two. x equals negative five halves. So, I know where one of my asymptotes is then. Let me uh, get an x and y axis on here. Good. Um, so, x is negative five halves, negative five halves. Um, that's two and a half, so one, two and a half, so right about here. That should be uh, straight. So x equals negative five halves. So that's a gap in the graph. That's that's a part of the graph where it won't go. It'll get closer and closer to that asymptote, but never actually touch it. So let me find the other asymptote. The other asymptote is as x gets really huge, uh, what does what does y tend towards? So thinking about that, my uh, my equation is 4x over 2x plus 5 plus 3. And as this gets real, as x gets really really large, these two terms right here uh, start to dwarf that plus 5. So this gets closer and closer to whatever that reduces to, and. Uh, the x's will, would cancel out, like 4 times a million divided by 2 million is just 4 divided by 2. So 4 divided by 2. So this part right here tends to 2, and then we're going to add 3 to it, which is 5. So as x approaches infinity, y tends to 5. So that gives us a horizontal asymptote up here. 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that would be uh, y equals 5. All right, I have my asymptotes, so let me now try and find my x and y intercepts. And I'm going to find my y intercept first, just because these are a little less work than the, than the x intercept. Uh, the y intercept happens when x is 0. So it hits that y axis when y is, when x is 0, because it's no left or right motion, just 0, over 0, up or down, whatever. So let me let uh, x be 0. I'm going to plug it in. So y would equal 4 times 0, x is 0, over 2 times 0, plus 5, plus 3. Uh, notice this is 4 times 0 is 0, divided by 2 times 0 plus 5. Uh, sorry, that should be a plus. Plus 3. This is just 0. 0 plus 3 is 3. So when x is 0 y is 3. So it goes to the point 0, 3. So there's my y-intercept. 1, 2, 3. It goes to that point. And then um, to find my x-intercept, uh, remember to find the x-intercept, y is 0. If it crosses the x-axis along here, it has no height. It has a height of 0. So it would be like, you know, over whatever, but up or down 0, right there on the x-axis. So let's solve that. I'm going to let y be 0. So going back to my equation, y is 0, and I'm solving for x. 4x over 2x plus 5 plus 3. All right, I'm working to get x all alone. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, deal with this plus 3. So I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides of the equation. So I get negative 3 equals 4x uh, divided by 2x plus 5. Next, uh, it's notice it's divided by this 2x plus 5. Whenever I have a fraction and I don't like it, I just multiply both sides of the equation by the denominator. So let me multiply by that on both sides. And notice over here it divides out. That's just a 1. So I'm going to have a 4x. And then this negative 3 gets distributed to both those pieces. So negative 3 times 2x is negative 6x. Negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. 
still working to solve for x, get x all alone. So I'm going to add 6x to both sides. Negative 15 is equal to 10x. All right, it's looking good. So uh, then divide by 10. And it looks like x equals negative 15 tenths, which is negative 1.5. Um, same as negative 3 halves. I like to think of it that way. So when y is 0, x is negative 3 halves. So x is negative 3 halves, y is 0. So there's my, um, there's my x-intercept. So 3 halves is about 1 and a half. Uh, not about, it is exactly 1 and a half. So I have this negative 3 halves, 0. So now I know that uh, part of my curve looks like this. And the other one, I could get some points up here. You know, if I really wanted to, like, like really find where it graphs, I'd plug in a value. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But let me plug in 5 and see what happens. Uh, 4 times 5 over 2 times 5 plus 5 plus 3. That would be 20 over uh, 15. plus 3, and that would be 5, 6, 7, around 7, um, so around there. So I know that 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, well, let's see, what would it be exactly? This is 3 halves, 6 and a half. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so oh, there we go. Oh, there's my other leg.